So this information is about the percent of Americans that are under the age of 18. So over the years, in general, less and less are young as the population gets older. What's the meaning of the derivative? Well, the derivative is how fast this rises or falls over this 10-year period, or in other words, the slope. And so we would have the slope equals 35.7 minus 31.1 over a 10-year interval. So 1960 minus 1950. So let's see, this would be 4.6. And so it actually went up by about half a percent per year. So this was in percent, and the 10 was in years. So it's going up by approximately 0.46% per year over that decade. And so next, oh, the units, we've got that constructed table. So this was the first one, 0.46. Now we would need to do that all along the way. So in the 1950s, the P prime was an average growth of 0.46% per year. Now do the 1960s. So throughout the 1960s, it would be So we've got 34 minus 35.7, and then divided by 10. They're all going to be divided by 10. And so then throughout the 1960s, it dropped by 0.17 per year. Next, the 1970s. So that would be these two from the 70s to the 80s. So 28 minus 34, and then, oh, I hit something wrong, 28 minus 34, and then divide that by 10. So then it dropped by 0.6% per year. The 1980s would be a 25.7 minus 28.0 or an average drop of 0.23% per year. And we've almost got it. And then throughout the 1990s, it's zero. Don't even need a calculator. And then graph each one of these. So we'd have the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000. And then this one, the numbers range from 25 to 35, essentially. So we could go 10, 20, 30, 40. And these are percents. So in the 50s, it was 31.1 .1, and then 35.7. 34 and then 28 25.7 and 25.7 so until the very end it was looking sort of like a parabola and then leveled off so that's the P And now for the derivative, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. For that one, we don't have the 2000s. And for this one, we're going to need some positives and negatives. So let's say that this is 0.5, and that's a 1.0 negative 0.5 and negative 
So in the 50s, it was at 0.46, and then negative 0.17, and negative 0.6, and negative 0.25, and a zero. And so this one would have looked well, sort of like cosine. Graph both of them, and that's it.